hello and welcome to my channel in this video we have another born pretty collab and today i have some i would say i would call, honestly call these more like fall slash winter polishes but this is like a winter polish set that's what it's called at least and i'll have it linked below of course we're gonna quickly um get the showing the colors part over with and I'm going to be doing like a one coat swatch because I don't have any swatch sticks. So I'm just watching on the nail that I already have on. But I do really love these colors. They're so like, I don't know, this time of year, I feel like it's perfect for them. And I thought they would be so perfect for doing sweater nails. So I decided to do a bunch of sweater nails today. And um, this is... Um, my second attempt at doing the nails because the first attempt I did sweater nails but my goodness gracious I did not like how they came out um I'll show y'all the nails I guess if, if I still have them out in my phone I'll pop them up I mean they, they straight up they're just ugly <laughs> but the nails that I did today I really ended up liking them so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the rest of the swatches play out and then we're gonna get into the nails. So y'all saw all those colors with, you know, just one coat and I don't know about y'all, but to me, they are like really, really good quality. Um, I feel like you can get away with doing one coat if you're doing like, if you're just doing like solid color, short nails, you don't, you wouldn't have to put two coats. But moving on, getting started with these nails, I am doing... A glitter base for all of them i wanted to use i did not want to just use two colors like i tend to sort of do when i review kits i i tend to just stick with like a simple color scheme because it's you know easier to to do a cohesive set with you know a limited amount of colors but um i tried that last time the first attempt with me doing these nails and I used just the red and the green and I did this um, with that darkest green and I did French tips and I did this white nose on top of those. It was hideous, but moving on, um, um, for my second attempt, I decided that it would be a better idea to just put the solid colors on all of my nails and I did them in like a gradient way where the red to the orange to the yellow and then it eventually you know faded into that dark green color i ended up liking that a lot more so 
yeah but i'm doing a glitter base just because i wanted to have a glitter base i wanted to be able to see glitter under my nails even though i completely forgot that i did that at the end of the set so i didn't even show it but you know y'all know it's there So after just doing one coat, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is applying all the colors. So for the red, I wasn't too worried about seeing the glitter under it just because the glitter is also red. So I only did two coats for the red one, but for the rest of the colors, I did two to three coats. It really depended on if I could see the red underneath like the cuticle area still. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But you really only need two coats as long as you do a good job at covering the cuticle area. Also something to keep in mind when you're applying your colors, make sure that you're applying a thin layer because otherwise your nail will just come out super bulky and on top of that, the, your polish might not cure properly if your gel polish application is too thick. It can cause bubbles and wrinkling in the polish so just be sure to keep the layer thin and do multiple layers because that's how you're going to get the best looking finish.
so now i'm applying the second coats and as you can see the nails most of the nails look good with just the second coat but on some of them you can still see the red on like the cuticle part of the nail um so i had to do a third coat for those nails After I finish applying all my polish, now I'm going to top coat all the nails and I'm just going to show this now but I'm going to top coat all the nails with super top coat from Born Pretty and then after you top coat the nails this is when you can do your sweater design. So to do this you need to do your whole entire design and then you know make sure you're not carrying between any steps or anything like that because you cannot do a sort of design if you're carrying between steps you need to make sure that you uh keep your um i don't know how to say it but like when you're doing this design you kind of have to keep it straight you can get kind of crooked with it since if you're like me you're eyeballing it and going straight down the middle first but that's what i'm doing basically i'm just going straight down the middle with hearts and i'm going to be doing this on all the nails but i'm going to speed up and cut out some parts just you know just so that this video isn't like hours long because this did take me a little minute not that long but a while and um that's just because it's not because it's a hard design to do it's a very easy and simple design to do it's just because it it's a lot of drawing the same thing over and over again and that's what i did down the whole nail drawing hearts trying to keep it centered um i'm just eyeballing the center trying to keep it in the middle 
but um you can draw the lines that's going to be on the side of the heart first to try to keep yourself centered but i felt like it would just be easier if i just did the hearts and then did the lines and then did the dots but i am using my dotting tool for the hearts and um you can use a very small skinny brush but i feel like using a dotting tool is a lot easier and gets like a nice i don't know like not like a super sharp shape but like a sweater nail heart shape <laughs> i don't know if i'm even describing that right it's more like a bubbly heart than like a regular heart that you would normally draw To create the lines on the side of the hearts, I'm taking my really, really long liner brush and all of my nail art brushes, I pretty much got off Shein and the way that I maintain them is I just wipe them with alcohol when I'm done using them. And also, um, it helped a lot to cut the bristles because the brushes were way too thick. So I just used my, cu my cuticle nipper to cut a lot of the bristles completely off. For some reason I didn't record myself dumping the acrylic on this nail, but um, yeah, basically after this step, do not carry yet. You need to dump the acrylic on your nail and I like to leave the acrylic on my nail until it doesn't soak into my nail anymore until it's just sitting on top of the gel polish because that's how I know that all of the acrylic, um, all the gel polish has acrylic absorbed into it. And then I cure the nail for like 10 to 30 seconds depending on how impatient I'm feeling. And then I move on to the next nail. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing on all of my nails so i'm not going to be showing like the full entire process i'm just going to be showing some bits and parts of the process but it's the same thing on all my nails and it's a really really easy design to do and there's so many different sweater designs that you can do but this one is just one that i am freestyling and um this is a really really simple one as well so yeah, don't be scared to try out some sweater nails.
so we're pretty much approaching the end here and um so far they're cute obviously they're really cute i love how these came out and um so my overall thoughts on the gel polish kit is it it does look wintry like the muted colors are wintry but it does remind me more of fall than it does of winter but i do love the colors that came in it i especially love the red and the green and the glitter of course y'all know i love the, the glitters i'm always gonna love the glitters but um overall really good quality and i love how these nails turn out thank y'all so much for watching i have the gel polish link below i also have a code for the born pretty website which is my channel name um I'm pretty sure it's just my channel name, Nails by Tasia, and you can get 10% off. So be sure to check that out. And I'll have um, my TikTok and Instagram link below and Born Pretty as well. So thank y'all so much for watching and remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.